I miss you. Jed is sort of the black sheep of his family. He's been excommunicated by his father because he's gone out on television and done a bit of a hit piece against the church. I don't even think you can like safely call it a church anymore. Look, I think if Jesus walked into a U-Star church today, my father would tell him to sit up the back, maybe buy a copy of his book, some t-shirts, stop trying to flip over all the merch tables. He has a lot of faith in Christ, but I think believes that the way that Cal and U-Star operates is a complete kind of corruption of those teachings. Jed, I think, is the one that, that really holds a particularly soft spot in Abby's heart because he is the purest sense of the religion that I think he reminds her of where she and Cal once were. They were there for the right reasons. They wanted to take God to the world and somewhere along the way, it kind of got a little bit corrupted. He forms a centre where he goes to feed the homeless and drug addicts. It's more in line with Christ's teachings about looking after your neighbour and those less fortunate in society. It was a really important part of the show to me that we didn't just have an atheist standing outside the church critiquing it, that we had a Christian standing outside the church critiquing it. That was able to go, no, the problem is not that you have faith, the problem is how your faith has been put together. I just don't get why he's trying to bury us. Probably because people are starting to ask where the church ends and a multinational corporation begins. My son, the Marxist. Jed turning up at the party, that's a really important moment. Having not been to see the family, been involved with the family for three years, yet he does come at this particular moment. We see him get slowly drawn back in without maybe realising what he's drawn to there. Prodigal son, folks! Three years AWOL, and look at Dad's face. It's a moment of change. Things are not going to be the same. Thank you.